It is the Black Friday shopping rush. Bargain hunters spent hours in the cold waiting for the doors to open, and when they did, a frenzy ensued. And there are too many malls in the country busier today than the Mall of America near Minneapolis. For a closer look at the madness, let's check in with CNBC's Courtney Reagan. She's in Dayton, Ohio. Courtney, good morning. Good morning to you, Willie. Many malls like this one have been open all night long. And while those Thanksgiving Day hours did prove to spread out the crowds, no indication shoppers are anywhere near done yet. It's Black Friday after all. It's retail's most important day. Ready, set, spend. Black Friday. The day consumers, an estimated 97 million strong, shop sales till they drop. And the day retailers pray for profits. This year, with more stores opening even on Thanksgiving, the mad dash started extra early as millions gobbled their pumpkin pie and raced to the mall. Good time to hang out with the family, get our early Christmas shopping done. We like to wait for Black Friday for uh, the shopping deals. What's different this year? Thanksgiving came late, so there are fewer shopping days till Christmas. That means retailers are pulling out all the stops. They're just in a race to gain market share, and they're giving the consumer every opportunity to come into their store and shop early. Most economic forecasters say we'll be spending a bit more this year, but the economic recovery has been slow, leaving consumers spending carefully, forcing stores to do whatever it takes to get you to open your wallet. Great prices. It doesn't necessarily mean the retailer's not making money. By the time we get through holiday, it's going to be marginal growth at best. There's hope for a jolly holiday online. The National Retail Federation estimates online holiday sales will hit 82 billion this year, a 13 to 15 percent increase over last year. The majority of holiday sales will still come from brick and mortar stores with technology and clothing expected to lead the way. All the retailers are really doing by throwing all these discounts at us is training the consumer never to pay full price again. A lot of places have sales that end at noon, so we want to catch those sales before they stop. It's fun because just to get out with the big crowds and the hustle and bustle. For all you nonstop shoppers, don't exhaust yourself too early. Cyber Monday is just around the corner. And so far, online sales off to a strong start. IBM says sales are up 11.5% online. Willie, back to you. Courtney Reagan, Santa already falling asleep. He's got to pace himself. <laughs> Courtney, thanks so much.